Hello, Bobcats. So, I want to show you guys uh, what I see when Miss um, S and I open up our band lab. Remember to be on EDU band lab because if you just go on regular bandlab.com that's what musicians use to create tracks and share with each other and sometimes put on like little concerts uh, or help each other with productions you guys are part of the edu version um the education version so what i see are three classes right okay so let me show you what i do i go over here for example i'm going to click on the eighth grade so i click on there here's the assignment so i read the assignment Okay, so I explore band lab. That's the objective. Uh, everybody has the same objective. Six and seven are slightly different than eight, but um, create a project using three tracks. Uh, sixth grade, you're only doing two. One should be, and that's the minimum, by the way. You guys can absolutely do more, but one should be some sort of rhythmic pattern that sets the beat. That's the drum track. Don't stress about the quality or how good it is. Just, you know, don't worry about com comparing your music to somebody else's. Just do your best. We want to make sure that you're able to use BandLab. Uh, I'm now creating this video, which is being referenced right here. Weird, weird. It's talking about it here and I'm making the video. How strange. So yeah, please tell other people because we only have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 students on this. And again, we're not grading anybody harshly, but we have to be showing that we're reaching you guys and you guys are not falling behind on your music education. So instead of giving you guys worksheets that we expect you to turn in about note reading and stuff, we're trying to keep your minds focused on music while you're de-stressing a little bit about, you know, stuff. And meanwhile, you guys are, you know, turning in some fun activities, learning some new software. So what I do is this, I go over here and you go to your folder and again i think you guys should have a library uh you can set up templates and all that that's a little bit more advanced i already worked on these a little bit but i'm gonna go to mix editor and do 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 all right so it gives you these tracks it asks you what to drop in i'm not going to be singing in i might try that at the end of the video if the video goes quickly i could plug in a guitar or a bass and it is uh, imperative that if for some reason you're lucky enough to have an electric bass and a guitar with a plug at home uh, that'll plug into the computer or the amp through a microphone please make sure you select the correct one because that has to do with how the software processes the sound and you know basses are much deeper than regular guitars so I like to start with drum machines so I click on that and it automatically gives you a basic setup it should be the same one every time so when you click on it So you already have this pattern laid out, right? Please don't cheat and be like, well, I already added it. No, 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 I already added it. No, 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 my, my lovely students, don't do that. So if you ever used any kind of software like this, and a few of you have, you just have to learn where everything is. This is how you add a new track. This mutes it, which make, you know, makes it quiet when you're recording it. This creates solo. Um, if you hit this, it cycles it, basically loops it. I don't know why they didn't just call it a loop. Now, when I'm creating mixes, I always do this. Make sure that the metronome is on so that when you're recording or playing back, it's clicking so that your music all lines up, okay? Um, so for instance, like let's say right now I like this drum track. Let, let's start creating. See, you hear that clicking away? It lets you know exactly what the beat is. Beat is how fast or how slow it is. What the drums are doing is called a rhythm. Sometimes we say, yo, that's a cool beat. And what we're talking about is the rhythm, all right? The beat is just how fast or how slow the song is going. And the rhythm lets you know that. Like you see this steady pulse, you see this regular pattern, that totally lets you know what the beat is gonna be based off of this rhythm. You know, the speed right here, all right? beats per minute BPM if I lower it and I slow it down and I recommend you do that oh it's got a groove I recommend you do that because if you slow it down it makes it easier to add your own tracks you could always speed it up later it's one of the benefits of working on a thing like this so if you already had a file if you already had a song you could save on your computer you can just drag it here but let's do this I'm gonna take this 
I like that. I'm going to add a second one. Let me see. You see how this is light gray and dark gray? It's that pattern of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's just where the line is. Watch it move. Oh, snap. Okay, it didn't move. It's making me look bad. So it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put this. This is on the last beat here. Put it on the last beat there because remembering music, a pattern is important. Oh, I like that. So, boom, this is on the third. Let me add it like that. Boom. Okay, what's this? You know what? I'm going to take that out for now. And this is the... Okay, so let's see what this sounds like. If you click here, it just plays this pattern. So look at that. I just changed it by clicking on a few little dots, right? But it sounds good because there's a pattern to it. Now let's go to B. Yeah. Stupid. So let me see. Oh, that was B that I changed. I'm double clicking. I'm right clicking. Why are you doing that? Oops, wait, whoa, 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 undo. You like that? Undo totally saves you. This is supposed to be automatically showing up here. And it's not. So you know what? This could happen to you. You could glitch. Like if you double click it, it's supposed to have the little pattern here. Well, guess what? I'm not worried about that. What's this? Oh, it's not, I'm not worried. I'm gonna add a track. Now when I add a track, it's gonna say drum machine. But wait a minute. If you go down to here, Oh, duh, I gotta click on instrument. So if I go down to here, I go to instrument, drum machine, I have all these different varieties of things, right? I got drum kits, but I don't, I don't want kits. I want reggae, pop rock, rock. Actually, I like that. So being that this is not what appeared, this is considered like creation right now. See, they're all selected, so I have to click. No, the click on, no. All right, click on just this one. I'm gonna move it to right here. Line it right up. Click on this one and move it right here. Now you can see this is a little clunky, right? All three of these were selected for some reason. Don't worry about it. Uh, just take your time with this. That's why you have a full week before these are due. So you can pan it to left, right. So when you hear it in your headphones, it only comes out on one side. Now that instrument is selected, let's go here. Yep, that's what I adjusted. I want to adjust this too. Let's listen to it. Maybe I want to add another one of these. Let's see where it was in the same spot. So now let's listen to it before we add another instrument. Oh, let's turn this off for now. All right, that's pretty cool. Doesn't sound bad. It's got a nice groove to it. Again, close to what the original was. And it loops it four times. So this is four, this is four, four within four. You see music follows a pattern, right? All right, that almost begs like that I need to add more, but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna stop it. We're gonna add one more track. This time we're gonna to go to instruments, but there is something very cool here. You could either add piano, and you see these letters. I'm about to click N on my keyboard. See, there's a glitch. I don't know if you could tell that something funny happened. 
if you try to click in on your keyboard when this first comes up, let, let me get rid of it and show you. Let me see if I can get rid of this track. Rename the, 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 the delete track. All right. That was a right click, by the way. If you go over these and you right click them, you get to do all this. So you can explore that on your own. All right. Uh, add track here and let's pick piano okay it just comes up automatically if i click n my finger is on n on the keyboard oh now it worked when you do this the very first time you guys might try to play your keyboard and this will not turn on okay it will not work you have to actually go there with the cursor with this little little hand and left click your mouse It's weird to play the piano with the keyboard especially if you're used to playing the piano like me it takes a little bit of practice but this is what's really cool right here you got drum kits you can actually go and pick drum kits which is what the drum machine already is or you can go to creator kits and now you see these letters you really hear that I'm gonna hit 5 T I'm gonna play G I'm using the keyboard now. So let's try this. Ready? We're going to put this right from the beginning. And I'm totally going to improvise because remember, if I make a mistake, the world does not end. So here we go. I'm going to play around with these three, four, actually four, and maybe you. Okay. So here it goes. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. While you're recording, you have to start by using the mouse to click on here, and it's very clumsy. So I tried to use the keyboard, and it didn't work. So I'm going to have to hit the mouse. See, it, there's a glitch. There's a glitch, and this gets very frustrating. Please do not get frustrated. Two, three, four. see this glitched here let's listen see this is when I clicked there was no sound this didn't seem to react but the computer did record it uh, you're gonna have to just work with that all right now one of the things you can do I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna inst see like this started low and then it went high I just cut that Move it over. Now the first sound you're going to hear is high. I'm going to come over here where it got a little funny. And you can see there's a pattern. And then when I played a different note, it looks different on the graph. You see that? This is the same. This is the same. This is the same. same different. So I'm going to go to here because I knew that's where I made mistakes. And I'm going to stop right there. And we're going to listen to it. Whoa, 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 that was weird. Oh, uh, I didn't pick up the beginning of the note. So, I just double-clicked, okay? Um, I went here and I double-left-clicked, and it brings up the little graph. It doesn't work on here. It works on here. So, the beginning is the attack of the note. I actually accidentally moved it over a little bit too much, so I need to bring it over, and now I need to expand it a little bit, and then we're getting into some sophisticated stuff right here. So now we're going to listen to it and see if I fix it, because now the computer will hear the attack. Okay. It sounds a little rushed in the beginning, but again, for a class assignment and just messing around, this is not bad. So, 
if you come in and you are able to open this up, if you know some people are having some minor computer issues at home, if you're able to open this up, you're able to manipulate these tracks when they first came in, right? And then again, you click on this, you go to instrument, bam. And you're able to change these a little bit. Then you add something else, like a second track, or you add an, an instrument that you, you, you can play, like a piano using your keyboard, a computer keyboard. Or you're able to use one of these modules that you know create these effects, these creator uh, kits. Then, then great. You've just completed the assignment. You turn in something that is 16 full bars long. It stopped at 17, so it's not 17 bars. It's 16 full bars. Guess what? I'm probably gonna talk to Miss S, and we're gonna give you guys like a B or something. This showed that you learned how to use this, and it was fine. So. Let's talk very quickly because it's getting to be a long video. Let's talk about how you share this. So if you go to file, there's nothing about sharing. This is to download tracks and stuff. So this is what I do. You go to go to library. Are you leaving or you'll be long? save, right? Then you click go to library, savings in progress. Okay, I'll stay. So guess what? It just popped up. Now, once it pops up here, rename it. And I'm going to say um, example. I'll say Wilson example. Wilson Bobcats. Go Bobcats example. Right? Okay, confirm. Project is being renamed. And there you go. Now, when you, when you open up BandLab and you go up to your folder, you're going to see this. If you click on it, you're just going to hear it. When it's finally ready to play whenever it's ready to play it doesn't it doesn't want to play oh there it is it comes in at the bottom right it'll just start playing on its own it's a little slow right now i guess because it's still what they call rendering it's saving and it's processing and the the server that we uh, use for band lab or band lab uses with us is probably just you know saving it for now um let me see if this one will pop up because this one's already ready yeah this is something i was doing yesterday to experiment you can tell I was using the same sounds. It just plays on the bottom. If you want to keep working on it, you come over here and you click Open in Mix Editor. That's all. This one's a little bit. This is also using one of those creative pads or kits. I kind of like this one a lot. I'm probably going to expand on it just for my own enjoyment. have any questions about this or you have any technical problems or any issues please reach out to us immediately uh, do not hesitate um, please do not hesitate to contact us uh, we will make sure we reach out to you immediately please understand this is for a grade but we are not going to grade this very harshly these are special circumstances we've never any of us in the world have had, or had to teach and learn under Please continue to do your work for your general music classes, but also please continue to do work for all your classes, all right? When we get back, things will hopefully jump back to as normal as possible. So you guys take care, you guys enjoy, and uh, I look forward to seeing your work. And please tell everybody else to jump onto this because it's a little time consuming, but it's a little time consuming. You guys take care, enjoy, and I'll see you soon.